Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are doing a simple test. We've done two main cooks on this guy so far. I've got my helper here. We're gonna do what you'd call a toast test. I think I noticed that there were def some definite hot spots when we have been cooking on this thing. So we have some bread we are gonna go ahead and cook up and lay out on the barbecue and see how it does on the ass smoke pellet barbecue grill. So we're gonna go and lay them out nice and uh, perfectly on the grill. Cook evenly, yeah. Cook them up and then we can, after probably five, 10 minutes, we'll be able to see exactly where the hot spots are and where the hot spots aren't. Also very important, so we're gonna do that now. Not too much I'll say about this little guy here. Obviously you've seen the, seen the couple cooks we've already done. A four pound hopper for the pellets. Very, very small. Uh, we had to add some pellets into it when we were cooking on the, when we did the very long cook for the barbecue spare ribs. But again, a lot of, a lot of meat going in there. Have to lot, a lot of cooking too, so. <laughs> we're gonna get, get, get this going and come back to you. Here we go. On as much surface area cover as possible. Right. Yeah, we're not gonna spend no expense is the word I'm use for for today's cook, okay? And <laughs> cook. Today's bake. Yeah. Today's toast. Mm-hmm. There you go. See how much more we can fit on this guy. Three. While you're doing that, I'm gonna go plug it in there. It's three. Oh, these are so soft. Yeah. So perfect. No wonder they call it Wonder Texas Toast. Right? So I want to get a little bit more. You see this here? We're gonna... Like place them on top of each other? Well, no. I'll show you. See right here how we have a little gap right there? Kind of cut them in half. Well, tear them in half. Tear them in half, yeah. There you go. And last but not least, we're gonna have a little extra here. Nom nom. <laughs> there you go. Put that one right there. Mmm, okay. so soft. Yeah, pretty soft. And there we go. We got, what's that, ten and a half mm. pieces on there? It feels so fluffy. Yeah. That tastes so fluffy. Ah. Got some smoke going, and now turn to 250. I'm gonna close the lid. About five minutes, okay, kiddo? Ooh. Watch out for bugs. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and flip them over. I'm gonna do it like this. So make sure we can get the right spots. I should turn it off, actually. There you go. Like that. And that one's like this. That's a little toasty over there. It's like that. All right, well, you're seeing it as much as I do. We got a nice, nice big hot spot right here on the right-hand side and a little bit along this edge here. And did you see the camera, kiddo? Uh -huh. Yeah. So when I did the ribs, this is exactly what I experienced. The section over here was cooked probably a little too much, while the section right here, which was a thicker meat, wasn't cooked all the way through. And right here, of course, that's the actual heat source is right under this guy, but it is in fact being deflected by the plate. And there is a little burner, sorry, there's a little shield down there you can move over and get direct direct flame, which we'll probably do next video when we do a steak on this guy. This was a great test. Nothing that, well, after my first couple of cooks, I kind of knew this was already here, so it was, it's nothing surprising, but it is really good to know. And you can see the, uh, how light it is on this section, which is right around here. All very interesting and really good, to, good, useful information for your cooker, for your smoker, because you have to know your smoker if you want to be able to make sure you're cooking, cooking properly and cooking correctly. Things that we'd like to do here. Any questions, let me know. Simplest cook, cook I've ever done. Do you, do you want to try one, kiddo? <laughs> Go for it. A little hot still, yeah. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Eating some good toast. 
a little smoky. Doesn't taste all all that good, but nonetheless, happy happy with how this how this thing went. We know a little bit more now than what we did before earlier. So any questions about this about this process? Let me know. Don't overcomplicate it. It's not meant to be taken too. Uh, don't try to try this at home. Have fun with it. Know your smoker. That's the the key takeaway from this from this cook today. Any questions? Let me know. Any, anything for today, kiddo? No. <laughs> Keep barbecue, America. Cheers.